Hi, I'm Steve Peters with Black Diamond Mobile Detailing. I just wanted to shoot a quick video and show you exactly what you'd be getting with the purchase of the business, so it's not just photos. So to start with, you get a brand new 5x8 steel framed trailer that you can pull behind your car or truck. Uh, clean title, brand new registration, it's got tags on it, it's ready to go. So when I purchased the trailer, the first thing I did was paint the inside to make it waterproof and make it look really nice. Then I laid a custom uh, floor, diamond bright floor. Gets a lot of people's attention. Believe me, the trailer is gonna be your number one advertising tool. Every time you're washing cars at someone's house, or every time you're driving around town, people are gonna see your trailer and they're gonna call you because of it. I've gotten countless deals just by people seeing me cleaning someone else's car and they pull up alongside and they say, hey, can I have a card or brochure? So in the trailer, oh, before I go in there to show you that, you also get the 10 by 20 undercover, brand new commercial grade canopy. I uh, use it every single time I clean cars, trucks. You can even get some boats under it. It will save your life from getting burned up in the heat. And it'll also allow you to do a much better job on the cars because the paint is cool and dry. And so therefore you can get a much better wax on it, much better buffing and uh, polishing job. These four bags here are anchors for each of the four corners of the canopy. They're four 50 pound bags and uh, it'll keep the canopy down and secure so it doesn't blow away and it doesn't damage your vehicle you're working on. And I have the uh, tie downs for each of the four corners. Two buckets, one for cleaning the car, one for cleaning the rims and tires, multiple brushes, speed brushes for the rims, tire brushes, long and short for the tires and tire wells, contoured tire brush, carpet brush, lug nut brush in here, I have copper, uh, white wall brushes. You can have a bunch more pockets for other tools you need for going around the car. This water bottle is for the steamer, which I'll show you in a few minutes. And I have two 50 foot reels, um, both high pressure. This is the high pressure washer reel with gun hooked up to the electric pressure washer by Karcher. It's hooked up to the 90 gallon water tank in the back. Um, this is your high pressure air compressor line. Um, which I have a gun for as well. You can pop that in there. And then you can blow out all the cracks in the car after you've washed it so you don't have any drip lines. Blow out the rims before you dry them. This is great for blowing out all the debris on the carpet inside the car. Collect it all in the front and then vacuum it up real fast. Helps get all the out of all the cracks in the vents and everywhere else. Uh, let me demonstrate the, the, press, the um, generator for you. Brand new Predator 4000 watt uh, generator. I just bought it three months ago when I bought all this stuff, it's all brand new. So you just turn it on. This also has a custom exhaust line. I'll show you in a minute. It goes out the back, down out of the floor of the trailer and out to the side. So you don't have any fumes on the inside of the trailer. So you just turn it on, put it on start. Fires right up. While it's on, you can, you can use it for all the devices inside of the trailer. So right now I'll show you using the pressure washer. Turn off the pressure washer. Got it. Right out. Nice thing with the pressure washer is, step back. You can be using it and when you set it down as soon as you let go of the trigger on the pressure washer it stops running and so therefore it doesn't build up any pressure and cause you to bust the water line and have a huge leak. I already had that problem using a gas pressure washer. Trust me the electric is way way better. It'll save you a ton of time and accidents. Let me show you the rest of the stuff. Okay, so when you're done, you can just hang that back right there. Come on in here a little further. You also have a brand new central pneumatic eight gallon, 125 PSI air compressor. You can see this is hooked up already as well. So all you gotta do is plug it into the generator right here. Just plug it in, turn it on. The line is already in here for you. It goes along the ceiling and out to here. It goes right in the side. You can go out, take it, 50 feet out there and start using it. Um, I have the 30 foot vacuum hose for here. 
It's like a central vac by Hoover. It's a commercial grade uh, wall vac for your garage. Just plug it in, start using it. Turn it on and off. It also runs off the generator. I have a backup hose in case you ever needed that for emergency. I have the big hose here is for the water reclaim system. The big That goes to the big blue 50 gallon barrel in the back. When you're done washing the car or as you're washing the car and all the debris and suds and stuff come down on the ground, you can hook up the hose to this port right here and turn on the, uh, the wet vac, dry vac, and it'll suck up the water into here go into the 50 gallon barrel. When you're done, you can have it come out the other side. I have this plumbed and run to the back of the 50 gallon barrel. And then from there, I have an exit line that comes over to here, which you can see. And it goes down the outside and I have a little valve that releases it into the sewage line. All right, so also, in here, you're gonna keep all of your tools and towels. So as you're working, you just come in, grab whatever stuff you need. I have all the Meguiar's products, Chemical Guys products, and other various products. These are interior, exterior cleaning sprays. Um, then I have other stuff like fabric and carpet cleaner, bug and tar remover, spray wax. All these squeeze bottles are compounds and waxes for polishing and buffing. In here, you have all uh, Marine 31 products. Uh, metal cleaning products, boat cleaning products for polishing and cleaning your boats. And then I have probably 15 or 20 different pads, wool pads, smart pads by Lake County. We have the DA polisher, cutting and finishing disc from McGuire. You've got basically everything you could possibly need in here. Medium size, large size. I even have three inch and one inch pads for really small, hard to reach areas on cars um, that I'll show you for the polisher, the flex polisher inside. Then you have all your various microfibers for different things, such as drying the car after you're done, the honeycomb one here, super sucker. You have the ultra plush for buffing and waxing, the blue and white towels, a teary towel and a microfiber for windows. These yellow and green ones are all for the interior. And then you have a bunch of backups, two chenille mitts for um, washing the car. I have two long brushes with extension poles for RVs and boats. Let's go inside the garage real quick. Oh, also you have a fire extinguisher for safety's sake and then also a step stool for SUVs. Come on, hurry up. We're running out of space. These are all your backup supply of cleaning products, so all the Meguiar's products. The one reason I went with them is you could dilute them down five to one or 10 to one. So I have a ton of product back here. Every one gallon, for example, one gallon of APC, all purpose cleaner, will make you five gallons of product. So I have about four gallons left here and another bottle back there to make another five gallons. Same thing with all of these, glass cleaner, wheel brightener, super degreaser, hyper dressing. Um, then you have non-acid based wheel cleaner, leather and uh, cleaner and conditioner, and just a whole bunch of product. You'll have months and months and months worth of supply. You won't have to buy anything for a long time, believe me. I have a bunch of pads, various pads here, more lug nut uh, sponges, other various products. You have a foldable creepy crawler here for getting underneath boats when you have to clean and cut the cut and compound the hull of the boat for oxidation. A whole bunch more towels I still need to clean from the last job I did. You have a compact size flex um, the compact three flex this is great you could put on a three inch backing plate or one inch backing plate the ones i showed you the really tiny spot uh tiny foam pads they clean you know curvy spots on the car or in little hard to reach places and you also have the roops 15 millimeter bigfoot this is awesome uh random action orbital this is virtually impossible to leave buffer marks or swirl marks using this. It's a great product. Then you have for the big jobs, I have a brand new Makita that you could put a 10 inch wool pad on or 10 inch, or sorry, nine inch foam pad or wool pad to do boats, RVs, real big surfaces, it makes it go real fast. You can cut through oxidation super fast with a wool pad on one of these. And you know, drill guns, uh, battery operated drill gun, 
Makes it nice and easy. You have a pad washing system. You just throw the pad on one of the rotaries, put it on here, fill this with water, run the rotary in there. The splash guard keeps it from getting on you and it cleans the pads real fast. Makes your job a lot easier. Then I have a commercial grade VX5000 steamer. Some guys go with hot water extractors for cleaning the carpet. I decided to go with steamers. It's more versatile. You can clean the carpet fast and extremely thorough. And you can also clean out all the other aspects of the car like the vents, the headliner. I've gotten, I've gotten blood and ketchup and everything out of the headliner. I've gotten mold and stuff out of the carpets, all the cracks and uh, cup holders, all that stuff it makes your job real fast and easy. Last but not least, you have, this is an example, obviously you're not gonna use mine because it has the uh, phone number on there, but this is an example of the files I sent you. You can already, I've already customized this and made it. So all you have to do is put your phone number on it. It's a great brochure, everybody loves it. For cars, on the back, I have a quick little thing on boats and RVs. You would just change the name, phone number, and email, and you're ready to go. You could start handing these out tomorrow. You know, this will save you a lot of money on graphic design cost. Same with business cards. I already have the files and the graphic design done. I'll send you that as well. And then you could just put your name on the back instead of mine. So I hope that helps a lot. I hope it gives you a better understanding of everything you're gonna get. Please give me a call if you got any questions. Uh, I hope that you can buy it and get the work. I loved it, but I got a job I couldn't turn down. So, you know, my loss is your game. Uh, best of luck to you.